What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. Let's get right off into this, man. So Mav took the spaces, man, to defend his name when the other day Gerald McCoy and Three Letter Man then was basically running down his career. So Mav wanted to set the record straight and let it be known of all the things he did for this game and for people to put respect on his name and tell the tape like it is and stop fabricating the numbers so basically when i was listening to what was going on i would say this in his defense i don't like you know it's crazy especially when it comes to people covering covering battle rap who've been covering it for all these years but get in the company of others who may not like the person who you know actually did better than the credit that they tried to give him that's what this was right here. And then again, it also shows how, uh, according to Mav Hoffa, Three Letter Man, to some degree, was taking things personal against him because he declined interviews with him. And I know Three do that type of stuff. If you if you don't do him or give him no interviews, he not gonna he not gonna give you he not gonna give you your credit. I, I, I didn't witness this myself. He ain't going to give you your credit. If you don't do interviews with him for the most part, I'm saying for the most part, he hold the grudge against those things, man. Anybody who he rock, rock with going to get the benefit of the doubt when it comes to winning and losing. That's why you can't trust battle rap media when it comes to giving wins and losses to battle rappers based upon their relationships. Now, people know I rock with Mook, I rock with Rex, but if they lose, they lose. I don't care. I'm going to tell it like it is, and it is what it is, because at the end of the day, I'm going to be my own man. I'm not going to lie for them brothers. If you wrong, you wrong. Fix it, correct it, get it together, try to do better. I'm not finna be, I'm not finna be a part of it. It's just battle rap. Move on to the next person. But I'm not finna let nobody give them losses neither. That's not fair when they really won battles. That's for anybody for the most part if I'm covering battles. Like for instance, when everybody was saying John John the Don be easy to block captain. I went and watched that battle because I know, again, this community real flaky, man. One minute they with you, next minute they're against you. So I went and watched the battle. No, easy to block captain won that battle. And y'all already know, I don't really rock with him like that at all. But again, I don't care. I ain't got nothing personal against these dudes. I, I Look, I know they liars. I know they don't keep it real. I know a lot of them dudes fake, and I ain't got I ain't got to live with it. I ain't got to be cool with them. That that look that's that's some fakeness that don't affect me. Okay, so I ain't got nothing personal against none of them brothers, and I don't know none of them personally. So I don't care. That's why I be saying in my slogan. And since we don't have no dealings. Therefore, I can care the less about your feelings. I can care the less about none of these guys' feelings. You win, you win. You lose, you lose. But three, he don't care. That man going to do anything to get to get in, okay? You see how he he's the male boss, the, the lady boss, the boss lady who trying to do everything to, he the male version of that. I'm just keeping it real. So, Mav wanted to take to spaces and basically correct Gerald McCoy and Three Letter Man. He called himself taking shots at Gerald McCoy for not ever winning a Super Bowl with Tampa Bay. Because math like, hey, y'all ain't finna make it seem like I ain't one of these dudes in battle rap. Like, I ain't a legend. Like, I ain't considered to be one of the goats or gloats. But that's what he called himself, the gloat. Greatest legend of all time. 
I disagree totally, but that's something he wants to give himself. A lot of things he was saying wasn't adding up, but a lot of things they were saying wasn't adding up neither. It seemed like they were trying too hard to remember who he beat and was he really good? Like his battle rap status of everything he ever did was questionable, which is not true. Mav got a lot of kills. Math also took a lot of losses. I don't know what he was talking about. Also talking about he got one of the best battle rap records in battle rap. He got like 30 battles and 10 losses. Bro, that's not good. That's not good to have 30 damn battles and 10 losses. Sound crazy. Anyway, you got more than that, though. You be exaggerating a lot. You be putting thirties where they don't belong. You be putting wins where they have losses. We not doing that. You got a lot of thirties under your belt that people have thirty you. Like out of all, I'm just gonna keep it real, bro. Out of mostly all the top tier dudes, you and Verb got the most thirties that got put on y'all by people. I'm just keeping it real, y'all. Okay, like, look, and this what I'm look, this what I'm just coming up with. I ain't even really go through this all, all, but bro, you got thirty by F, math. You got thirty by T top, math. You got thirty by A verb, math. You got thirty by Big K, math. You got thirty by Calico, math. You got 30 by Jag. He said he 30 Jag. You lost that battle against Jag. You know what was crazy? People wanted to credit to give you that battle over Jag as a result of Jag not really being in the culture, and he wasn't known like that when he came. But you was. And I remember when the battle was over, some people were saying math won, but some people were saying Jag won. Like I said, I said, look, let's do a private viewing of it because I got Jag three zip over math. So we did a private viewing of it. We did a private viewing of it. And we watched that battle. And after every round, we all took a vote. It was unanimous. Everybody had Jag winning that battle every round. Three zip. Literally. Everybody. So he be putting 30s where they don't belong. He talking about he 30 Charlie Clips. No, you lost that battle against Charlie Clips. He said he 30 Hollow the Don. No, you lost that. You, you won that battle against Hollow the Don, but you didn't 30 him. I think Hollow may have won the first or second round, but you definitely didn't 30 him. Okay. You won the battle, but Hollow won one of those rounds. I forgot which round it was. Um, you did beat Disaster. You did beat Hollow. You did beat Arsenal. I, I even had you beating Geechee Gotti. I thought he did very good in that Geechee Gotti battle. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to see Mav Hoffa battle easy to block Captain. I want to see Mav battle easy to block Captain. I want to see that if he take it serious. you Because you never know what you're going to get with Mav. We really don't count Dose, but you did beat Dose, even though who the heck is Dose? Like, who the heck is Dose? Um... You lost the head ice. You lost the Charlie Clips. You lost the T Rex. You lost the Sirius Jones. You lost the past day. Like, bro, you have a lot of losses. You have more than talking about. You only got ten losses. You got more than ten losses. You lost the ill will. You lost the snake eyes. They forced that and gave you that because they were scared. You lost that battle though. Snake eyes beat you in that battle. So look, you lost the Ab, you lost the T-Top, you lost the A-Verb, you lost the Big K, you lost to uh, K-1, 
Calico. You lost the Jag. You lost the uh, Head Ice. You lost the Clips. You lost the Rex. You lost the Sierra Jones. You lost the Past Day. You lost the Ill Will. You lost the Snake Eyes. Like, bro, you got a lot of losses, okay? We ain't buying that. You ain't going to get nobody to believe you the greatest of all time. And you ain't going to get nobody that actually got you on a Mount Rushmore or even top 10 battle rappers. Now, I would say this. You did go on a little run, man, when URL suspended you for popping off on um, Sirius Jones. You did go on the run where you actually were doing a lot of these battles, man, and you was actually showing up and you actually were doing well in these battles. You know what I'm saying? But, and... Like, really, and, like, I mean, look, again, I'm not going to exaggerate your career for you. I'm not going to say you wasn't at one time one of those dudes because you was. When the URL first came on the scene, they definitely were using math to actually uh, be the face of their brand. All, every time they came out with their trailers, Math and those situation was in the trailer to draw attention and people to actually subscribe and tune in. So they definitely was using him as one of the faces of URL. In fact, you could say that Math arguably was the face of URL when it first came out. Now, Mook was the face of Smack DVDs. Math was the face of Smack URL when it first came out because they were using him a lot i'm keeping it real and um he had a big following he had a lot of people that respected him too so he would have looked at it being one of those dudes but nobody see him as one of the greatest of all times or the goat he, he's self-proclaiming them titles. He's self-proclaiming them titles. But he did put in work at one time. I mean, he was um, going hard. But he did a lot of sucker fake stuff that hurt him a lot, too, also, man. He sabotaged a lot of battles. He didn't show up on a lot of battles. And you can't make up excuses like that now since your career, for the most part. Is and that's why it's important to always respect your legacy. So you don't go back and look over things that you can't change and you can't fix. And then you wish you could take it back. Then you want, then you get offended and frustrated when you're not in the conversation with the greats because you didn't take your career serious to the point where you came prepared every time and respected your opponents. And that's what we're having a problem at right now. And this is why people could post shade on your career and, and, and water down the things you did and downplay your accolades as a result of you not caring about your legacy when it was before you. And keeping it real. But for the most part, yeah, Math is a good battle rapper. Math is one of those dudes who I will always want to see battle against a person who claimed to be real. I want to see Math up against the Geechee Gotti, the Calicos, the Swamps, the Easy to Block Captains. I want to see him against those type of persons, you know what I'm saying? So the real, real can collide and bump heads, you know, when you got that believability in front of you. But for the most part, bro, no. We not buying that stuff, man. And I like that, man. You do not have one of the best battle rap records in battle rap. Not at all. Sorry. You, you, you don't. You know. But, again, it is what it is. And according to math, math don't really want to come back to battle rap because he don't want people bringing up the alleged sexual assault uh, rape on him. And if he do come back to battle rap, smack them gonna have to pay him some more money to actually stand there and allow somebody to do that. That's what he said out of his own mouth. 
I mean, hey, I'll let y'all be the judge of that one. I'll let y'all be the judge of that one, you know. Um, but I could see that to some degree, especially when you see where he at right now. He got a lot of offers on the tables as a result of his uh, podcast that's doing good numbers, and he involved with uh, some of the right people in the industry that could get him into some of those doors. At what expense? Again, I let y'all be the judge of that. But I could see that. I could see that. Because I'm telling you, when Charles and White brought that up against him, Charles and White was finna go in on him. That man, that man got Charles and White removed off of YouTube. You know that? <laughs> he got Charles and White flat. Charles and White left him a hell of long. <laughs> Mav got to tell it on him. Mav got to report him. Mav got to flag it all his channels. Charles and White left him a hell of long. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, tell, tell Justin, tell Justin, see, his name is Mav Hoffa when he bullying people. Then he become Justin when he tell on people. So, <laughs> Justin, Justin, I just found out who got the dope. Justin, Justin. I just found out who shot that nigga. Just then, just then, I, I just found out. <laughs> it is what it is, man. And it's your boy, Battle Truth. It ain't my judgment, that's some question. It's yours. Subscribe to Battle Truth.